If you follow me on social media, you know I have been making the bejesus out of these little bows using my Cricut. Now, I have the Cricut Maker, okay, because I use the rotary blade to cut thick materials like this. If you have an older version, uh, like the Cricut Air 2, you can still use your standard blade, and I'll tell you what setting to put it on here in a little bit. But for me, I use the denim setting with the rotary blade. But yeah, how cute are these? Now, the material that I use is this faux leather ribbon. It's what it's called. It's a wide, some wide ribbon here. But I get this at Hobby Lobby. And let's see, where is the green cut right here? They have a bunch of different prints, a bunch of different colors and designs. Now, this is not over with the regular Cricut supplies. You have to find this over in the ribbon section. It's by the Ribbon Boutique. It is $4.99, 24 inches by 8 inches. And you can get a handful of bows out of this. Now, there's also a shop that I order a bunch of supplies through on Amazon. And I absolutely love them. They have so much and their prices are incredibly reasonable. I'm gonna to link to them down below. But this is some of the designs that I got. Um, a bunch of different mermaid designs. And here's like some Southwestern type designs, some more geometric patterns. Just all kinds of just really beautiful things. And you can mix and match these together with solid colors. Or this just came in the other day that I got from the same company. All of these different glitter colors. Very good customer service. Very fast shipping. I love them. You're also going to need some of these little hair clips right here. I can link down below where you can get these on Amazon. You can also get them at any crafting store. All right, for your cutting mat, and this one needs to be cleaned because I just finished making a bunch of bows and nothing is sticking to it now. But anyway, I always use the purple strong grip mat when I'm working with heavy fabrics like this. Now, let me get my iPad over here. I This thing was supposed to be fully charged, but one of the littles decided to unplug it, I guess. So oh, let's see if we can have mama have an aneurysm and let's unplug her iPad. But anyway, I'm in design space. I hate using design space on an iPad or laptop. I prefer using my real desktop computer. So bear with me a second. To get these little pieces here, it's really simple. And I'm going to tell you the simplest way to do it so that you don't have to go in and actually make them all yourself. Go to Etsy, type in Hairbo SVG. Once you purchase the file, you just upload it into design space and you are ready to go. So let's see, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to upload. I'm gonna go to open my uploaded images. And right here is the bow that I purchased from Etsy. There's a ton of these on there. I don't really, you know, recommend any one shop over another, but this is what comes up right here. This is already sized just perfectly for this size of bow. You don't need to resize anything. And then you can just click make it. And of course, I don't have this hooked up to my um, to my Cricut. So you just click make it. Uh, no accessory. And it's probably not going to do it because I don't have it hooked up. But anyway, you just click continue. It's going to ask you what type of material you're using. Now, if you're using the Cricut Air 2, you can use your standard blade, like I said. And when it asks you what material you're cutting, select felt and then wool blended felt. You know, I've asked around a few people and they say that seems to work best with the older model machines and you can use your standard blade that comes with the machine. You don't have to buy any other special blade. But like I said, with my maker, I use a rotary blade on the denim setting for the thicker material and I've not had an issue with it. So with all that being said, like I said, there's probably somebody out there saying, oh my God, hurry up, speed it up. I'm not gonna speed it up because you know what? This is stuff y'all need to hear. So first off, once you get everything cut out and get the Spanish moss off of your table, <laughs> this is the main piece that you have. And you want to flip it over so that the back part is facing you. And you see these two little tabs here? You just want to fold that over until it comes to the center. Now, if you can see here, I like to fold it to where you can still see some of the backing from the front 
shining through to you, okay? See how I just folded that over and I can still see some of the backing. Because if you fold it way over, and then once you smash it down, this is the part that's gonna be showing to the front. You're gonna have all this sticking out and that's not good. So with the back facing you, just fold it over. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm just gonna stick it down with a blob of hot glue right there. And then do the same thing with this other piece. Let us make sure, see that meets right there in the center. And I just wanna make sure that um, none of this backing is gonna show through the front. Okay, now here's your other piece that looks like this. And with these bows, all I did is I just cut some out of one color, went back and cut some out of another color and just mix and match the pieces. You know, you can, Use however many colors you like. But for the backing on this one, I'm just gonna use the same color, basically. I'm just gonna put a blob of hot glue, and then you wanna place it. You can see the cutout here. The cutout here, let me see if I can zoom in. The cutout here and the cutout here matches the cutouts on the back. Okay, so you just wanna keep those even. And if you have any little pieces that happen to be sticking out, once you get your bow assembled, just go back in with some really sharp scissors and just trim them away. Okay, so now there is the front and the back. And yes, I do use hot glue just to tack everything down. And then later, once the glue has set up, I go back and I will reinforce this with E6000, okay? So it's not like I'm just putting hot glue on here and hoping for the best. All right. Let's put some hot glue there. Right there. Okay, now this is the little piece. My nose is itching. This is the little piece that goes in the center. I'm just gonna glue that there. And this helps to hold it onto the little barrette, hair clip, doohickey, whatever you wanna call it. Let's get everything into place. And just wrap it around just like that and then I put another blob of hot glue right there and I'm gonna take this end and I'm just gonna thread it through and pull it through just like that and now I'm gonna hold this for a few minutes to make sure let me move this up to make sure that this glue is really really stuck down and dried and then what I'm gonna do, and I know E6000 takes a long time to dry, I like to let this sit and dry overnight. I take a blob of E6000 and put some right here, and then put some right there, stick it down like that, and then I'll also go back and take the nozzle of the glue and just kind of stick some in there and just really hold it in place with the E6000. I've never had a problem with these coming off. I've made a bunch of them. I've played with them, roughed them up. I've been making hair bows for years, actually. Um, not with this particular material, but I've been making hair bows for years and just tacking everything into place with hot glue and then going back with the E6000 and I have never, ever had a problem. So I'm going to do that once this sets up, but other than that, this little bow is done. It is finished really, really fast and easy. So there you have it, your little Cricut faux leather bow. Alrighty, if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to all of those in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.